you are about to have an encounter. We are the Reverends Ronaldston and Ruth Ann Baines, founders of the World Transformational Center Ministries, Inc. Do you desire true peace, physical healing, or long to experience the tangible presence of God? Join us today as we bring you hope in this edition of Kingdom Encounter. We invite you, come worship with us.
Father, we take this time out to give your name praise, to give your name honor. We hold nothing back today because our hallelujah, it belongs to you. Oh, my hallelujah belongs. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. Come on, we hold nothing but all of the glory.
to just spend just a couple of moments just giving you hope. The Word of God declares in John 14 verses 1 that you must not let your heart be troubled. It says if you believe in God, I want you to also believe in me. In this time that we are in, we are actually faced with much trouble. I am not going to stand here and say to you that you know, it is easy. I'm not going to stand here and lie to you or try to say or convince you that what you feel right now is not real. We have a situation that is facing this entire world. It has impacted governments, it has impacted families, it has impacted children. It has caused borders to be closed, caused aviation to literally come to a screeching halt. It has literally adjusted our whole way of thinking but we have a God that's telling us do not be troubled and when you listen to the words that are coming from heaven and the experience that you are going through it is like how, how can I do this how can I not be in trouble how can I not be in fear how can I not you know at this time, I have something inside of me moving, saying, how am I going to make it? How, how, how do I respond to a father who has worked as the breadwinner for his family and he is the one bringing in the food and the one bringing in 
the money to pay the bills and he lost his job during this time. How, how can his heart not be at trouble when you have a situation where a mother, a mother, a, a single mother, she would have just given birth to a child. Her child is just a few weeks old and she had to be laid off. Not because there was no more quote unquote work, but because of a virus, because of a disease, because of something that's happening in our world system. How does she respond? I want to say to you today, God is still in the business of releasing hope to you, releasing hope to me. I want to say to you, let not your heart be troubled. It, it, is, it is the very difficult times that we go through that we get to prove God's goodness. I would repeat the words that, that I hear all the time spoken to me by my own father. God is a good father. God is a good father. God is a good father. I want to say to you today, God is a great father and he is with you during this time. I want to say to you, no matter how things go, God has worked out that things are going to work out for your good. Your finances are going to work out. Somebody will say, oh, how can that possibly work? We have a situation where economies are falling, the stock markets are dropping, businesses are collapsing. How could you speak? Listen to me, we have passed through many pandemics before. If you go back, there's some even before I was born, and we made it through. And in those times, people were troubled. They were troubled for their lives. They were wondering, will they make it? But we are here today because they made it. And I'm saying to you, you can make it. I'm speaking to your life, to them, speaking it to your heart, to them, speaking to a father, mother, those who may have lost jobs, those who are, or may have even caught the virus itself. I'm saying to you, there is hope. There is hope. There is a God that is saying to you, there is an answer. And I want to say to you, those who are sick, I speak right now over your body that you are well. I remember a time back, someone spoke to me regarding fear. And they said, listen, you see fear? Fear has the ability to literally cause you not to have a sound mind. A sound mind is when you don't think clearly. It's, it's, it's when you come to a point where you start to freak out because you are not in control of a circumstance. Something is overtaking you and you're, you're like, how am I going to get through this? But the thing about it is that whenever fear consistently functions in you, you start to become troubled. Your body starts to deplete as far as it's in the immune system. You start to become weakened. And then the very thing that you are worried about, which in this case, in our, our understanding now, which is a COVID-19 virus, we are now going to make ourselves susceptible to what is out there. Some of us are even worrying about, you know, our children. We're worried about, you know, when, you know even when this thing passes over, will I even have a life after this? And our minds are just going and going. I want to speak to the person who is tormented in their mind. Those who are just saying, how will I get them? How is it going to work out? You're just frustrated. You just don't know how it's going to work. I want to speak God's peace over you today. I want to say to you, God doesn't want you to be in trouble. God doesn't want you to feel troubled. And I want to speak to you, a God that is good, a God that is loving, a God that says to you today, I am going to be your peace. This God says to you, I want to love you. I want to embrace you. I want to show myself strong to you in this time. As those in the past made it, you are going to make it in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to just say one final thing to you. I want to say that when we come out of this, we are going to look back and give God the praise because of what he did. I am giving you hope today that you can believe in God to bring you out. You can put your trust and faith in God to bring you through this time. I am decreeing over your life the joy of the Lord in this time. I am declaring over your life the peace of God in this time. I am saying to you that you are going to succeed. 
I want to even encourage those who are business owners, do not give up. I want you to allow this season to cause your mind to expand. I want you to look at the different areas that God may afford to you right now and the opportunities that he's going to give you now to work within these confines. I am telling you, so much can be done if we just listen to what he says. Believe in God. And I am saying to you also, you must believe in Christ Jesus. You can't just believe only in in God, but through Jesus Christ, he is actually the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. So today I want to present to you the hope, the hope who is indeed a person. Father, in Jesus' name, I speak to those who are listening to this broadcast right now. I want to speak into their very lives. I want to speak to the families that are listening, to the children that are listening, to the parents, to the business owners, to the presidents, to the prime ministers, to pastors that are listening right now. I want to decree over your life. You will not be a failure. This is not a a demark, uh, a, de- a, a situation where you are going to be broken and everything is going to fall to the ground. You are going to come to a point where God is going to build you and develop you in this season. I decree over your mind you are going to be fruitful. I decree over your family you are going to be creative. I decree in this season God is going to break out of you just like he did with Paul. Paul was in prison and despite he was in prison, he utilized what may have been a limitation to many to write nearly the nearly most of the New Testament. He's one that's impacted upon many of us and our very church lives, our very personal lives because of his own experience. I want to say to you today, you can make it like he made it and I decree it over you. For those who are dying in their hearts and feel crippled in their emotions regarding how will I make it, I am saying to you today, God will lift you up. I speak his his love around you, that he will garrison around you, garrison around you, garrison around you, cause there to be a strength to come into you, a strength that will overtake you and cause you to exist experience supernatural joy, supernatural breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. So today I just want to just say to you, you do not have to be troubled. Believe in God, also believe in Jesus Christ, the hope of glory. And I decree today you shall indeed receive it and be full of his joy in Jesus' name. I really want to thank you for joining us today. And I just decree over your life, be blessed in Jesus' name. Please enjoy this special message.
pleasure having you join us today. We encourage you to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Kingdom Encounter. WTCN, revolutionizing the nations of the world. world. Join us and be inspired every Sunday at 8 a.m. for our broadcast, Kingdom Encounter. Check out our thought-provoking devotional sessions with our pastor, the Reverend Ronaldston Wiggins, and our minister, Maria Herbert, in the informative series, Revelation for Life. Log on to our Facebook and YouTube accounts for our exciting Kingdom Corner Kids Show. You will be sure to find something inspiring for the whole family.